Here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it clinical examination station, kindly please begin. Uh, after washing my hands, I yes. just entered the examination room. Yes. I greet the patient. Hello, my name is Dr. Hussain, one of the exam candidates. Uh, today I have been asked to examine uh, uh, your periodic region that uh, consists of uh, looking at the periodic region and uh, uh, feeling and uh, uh, perform some uh, special tests. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay, uh, may I confirm your name and age, please? Yes, um, Matthew, 56 years old. Uh, very nice to meet you, Matthew. So I will start with the looking at the uh, patient's uh, periodic region. So I will see there is a swelling uh, lying at the, just below the airlobe. Yes. Uh, the periodic region. So I will check the site and then I will check the size and I will look for the shape uh, yes. and I will see the symmetry and I will compare with the uh, control side as well. Yes. And then I will see that uh, any changes overlying the skin uh, yes. and uh, is there any scar is present uh, and all these findings I will uh, compare with the control side as well. Yes. Uh, and then I will check for the facial nerve. So I will ask the patient to raise uh, eyebrows. Yes. Uh, and then I will ask the patient to sh shut the eyes uh, against the resistance. Yes. And I will ask the patient to blow out uh, the cheek. Uh, and then I will ask the patient to show uh, the teeth. Yes. Uh, and I will ask the patient to tense the uh, neck muscles. Yes. Then I will ask the patient, uh, can you please open mouth for me? Yes. And then I will check for the uh, essential duct uh, at the level of second molar tooth. Good. Uh, and then I will go for the palpation. For before palpation, I will ask patient, do you have a, a, a pain right now? Yes. Uh, if he says yes, then I will offer the painkiller. Yes. Uh, and then uh, I will proceed that uh, I will ask him that I will be very gentle throughout my examination. If yes. you feel any type of discomfort, please let me know. I will stop. Okay. So yes. first I will check the temperature and will compare with the normal side. And then I will check the tenderness. And then I'm going to start the palpation of the swelling. Yes. Uh, I will check for the surface. Uh, either it is regular or irregular. I will check the consistency. Very good. Either it is a soft or hard. or uh, And then I will check the fixity. Uh, either it is a fix or mobile. Yes. Uh, if it is a mobile, then I have to mobile in a, a four quadrants, anterior, uh, posterior, and a, a, a medial and lateral. So, and then I will check the edges of the swelling as well and if uh, fixity to the uh, skin, either it is uh, added to the skin or not. And then I will check for the uh, pulpit for the controller side as well. Yes. And I will ask patient that uh, I'm going to check your lymph nodes. Yes. So it uh, consists of uh, submental, submandibular, uh, periauricular, postauricular, and uh, anterior cervical, posterior cervical, and subclavicular. Yes. Uh, and then uh, I will check uh, the uh, parotid gland swelling. I will take a concept that I'm going to put my two fingers in your mouth and I want to take the bimedial uh, palpation of the swelling. Uh, and what then, is a, actually the exact procedure if you can explain it to me how would you do by manual examination you'll put uh, the gloves I on or the, without gloves yes, how I would you do it gloves on. yes i will put the gloves 
uh, and then I will uh, ask patient uh, take a consent and then I will proceed. Okay. Good. Yes. So by this way, I completed my examination of the parotid gland. All right. You still have two more minutes. Anything else you would want to examine while you are examining the patient? Uh, I think, ma'am, it's done. Yes. Maybe you'll check for the teeth. Any tense uh, neck muscles? Any abnormal yes, teeth? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'll check for the uh, check the teeth and. Uh, uh, as I told you that uh, I will check the neck muscle on inspection and then on palpation as okay. well. So uh, we still have time, but can you please summarize your examination? Uh, yesterday I have been examined a uh, young gentleman. Uh, he has uh, presented uh, with a complaint of uh, swelling in the parotid region. The swelling, uh, there was no any uh, skin changes or scar was noted. Uh, it was... Uh, uh, on palpation, it was uh, uh, hard in consistency and uh, it is mobile uh, and uh, the skin is not adhered to the uh, uh, underlying, lump, structure. Yes. underlying structure and uh, the uh, no involvement of facial nerve, uh, facial okay. nerve is intake uh, and there was no any uh, uh, lymphadenopathy is noted. All right. So considering your examination. What uh, provisional my and, examination, yes, provisional uh, uh, my provisional diagnosis would be the uh, paleomorphic adenoma. Okay. And uh, it could be the parotitis or it could be the malignant tumor of the parotid gland. All right. Can you tell me how would you differentiate? Or, uh, all right, you told me, how would you confirm your diagnosis? Uh, for confirmation, uh, uh, after clinical history and uh, uh, clinical examination, I would go yes. initially for uh, ultrasound. Yes. Uh, and then uh, I can go for the ultrasound guided uh, FNSE as well. Yes. Uh, and if I'm suspecting uh, any malignancy, so I will go for the CT scan yes. uh, and MRI of the bone, uh, MRI of the dead region as well to see the lymphovascular involvement. Right. Any other blood test that will help you? Uh, yes, uh, for parotitis, I can go for the CBC, ESR, and CRP as well. And yes. for general anesthesia fitness, I will go LFTs, PTI, and R, uh, and chest X ray and uh, it's ECG good of the to patient. Rule out well. if, there is, if it is lymphoma or not, because that could also be one of the possible differential diagnoses. Yes, it could be. Yes. So once you've received your labs, uh, what would be the best alternative or best management that you can offer to this patient? Uh, if it is a pilomorphic adenoma, uh, yes. I will offer patient the surgical removal of the uh, uh, this uh, benign tumor. So I will go for the superficial periodectomy. Okay. All right. While doing this surgical procedure, what are the things that you have to keep in your mind? Uh, there are certain uh, important structure which is passing from uh, the parotid gland. Yes. Uh, that is the external carotid artery and it is branches and the facial nerve, uh, retromandibular veins. So I have to put in my mind that I have to save uh, uh, these structures during my surgery. Which nerve is most commonly injured while doing the parotid region surgery or can be injured? Uh, greater auricular nerve, I guess. Okay, good. Right, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Two seconds are left. Good. 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 